What up, though, y'all? Duh. So did Al Nuke himself. <laughs> Al Nuke himself has called Wano, man. As uh, he, he tapped in, he, he reached out to me on Instagram. And um, let's say we 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 hollered, we we chatted, we chopped it up about a few things. Um first I had to say I had a few things wrong. I got it. He 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 wanted me to specify that. But in his own words, I only know 25% of the history he didn't lay for Detroit. You know what I'm saying? Talking to some of these OGs be hilarious. You know what I'm saying? These motherfuckers is, is hilarious. And I got to respect it. You know what I'm saying? I had a... <laughs> I was worried he was going to shut my Instagram page down on my YouTube. So I got to be 100 with you. But he kept it a bean pie about why he wouldn't do nothing like that to me. And he kept it a bean pie. Um, he kept it a bean pie with a few things. And... We was able to come to an understanding a lot of the times. And then there was some things that we pretty much are going to agree to disagree on. Or maybe, maybe, maybe we may get our nuclear on Wano's world one day. Maybe. You know what? In all that time of us talking, he ain't say shit about the nickname I gave his ass. <laughs> But he has so much to say about everything else. This nigga, this nigga gave me notes of shit to have my baby mama investigate. <laughs> like nigga, I did X, Y, and Z and Z and A, B, and C. And so some of this stuff we don't have to necessarily investigate because as he reminded me, some of these things I remembered. And then as he said it, some of these things I know may be easy to find. Now, one place, one thing, one point of contention with talking to Al Nuke was he's not a label. He's not a rap label. And his his promise to the city has been to keep an open door policy. So you can't go to Al Nuke and, and get a hundred thousand or get a record deal. But he's promised to speak good on everybody that comes from the city. He's promised to share information on everybody that leaves share information with everybody that leaves the city and comes south. And he was able to prove those, he was able to prove that to me. Now, one of the places that we agree to disagree on is, he was explaining to me about levels in this shit, and rightfully so, Al Nuke is 30 years in the game. I can't say nothing bad about that. He's 30 years in the game, rapping, movies, music community activism he is very upset about me leaving that out too some of these some of these ogs be expecting me to take it personal when they be upset with shit but i mean i don't mind playing my position so you know he got to rant and rave a little bit and i and i listen you know what i'm saying i i, I for sure listen and that was kind of cool because i forgot about some of the marches and things like that he did now, in my video, I didn't disrespect Al Nuke as a factor in Detroit, you know, but where my problem came in at was the exposing of Dogface. Like, for one, Dogface been saying he from Pontiac and he moved to Detroit as a teenager. He been saying that. For two, I was under the impression that him and Al Nuke been friends. And to be honest with you, they at the very least was associates. They were cordial associates who communicated regularly. Now, Al Nuke told me that he didn't find out Dogface was from Pontiac to a couple of months ago. Now, when you're talking to somebody like Al Nuke, you got to have your pencil sharp. So I wasn't necessarily ready for the test because him even reaching out to me was unexpected. I I had made it a point not to reach out to him, not to be biased, but because his side looked like 
Well, I'm going to just go ahead and say it. Al Nuke exercising every level of power he has right now. And to me, which I told him, I don't think that's cool. You know, I would much rather. And I don't know if I sounded dumb for this. He did kind of laugh at me a little bit. But I told him, like, I probably unalive somebody before I fucked up their livelihood. Or I snitched on them in certain ways. Now, he didn't necessarily view. Excuse me. Been working a lot today. He didn't necessarily view getting dog face channel took down as snitching. But what I tried to explain to him is in the YouTube streets. That's the worst kind of snitching. Oh, boy. When I said YouTube streets to that nigga, he went off. <laughs> and then I was trying to explain to him the, the terminology and what, or what us what we mean by the YouTube streets. <laughs> OGs from Detroit is like, you know, a very entertaining thing. It's a very delicate thing. I appreciate my position. I really do. I didn't know I was working to be in this position. I didn't know what this position was going to entail. I didn't even see this position as being an opening for me, but I am very appreciative of it. I'm also, I'm also very protective of my city and the people that represent it. You know, so shout out to Al Nuke for even allowing us to have that conversation. And then, believe it or not, he is very respectful and respectable and 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 uh a great conversationalist, you know. And there were points that we disagreed on. It was points where he was easily excited, and he and and what I want to give him his respect on is when he was excited or easily excited or um a little voiceless, shall we say, I didn't take it personal. And he acknowledged that. So we were able to have somewhat of a rapport on them factors, even though we may have disagreed on certain things. With that being said, I don't want, I don't want this. I don't want him going at dog pace. I don't want to deal with that at all. I don't think it's cool. I don't think it's what we should be doing. But then at the same time, I do know it's good for the algorithm. At the same time, I do know if Al Nuke going to bring Nuke and Knight back on YouTube, going back and forth with Dogface would be the best promotion. But then what fucks up the promotion is getting one of your people kicked off it, off of IG or YouTube, i.e. Dogface. Having Dogface. And, and that was one thing he said. He was talking about power. And how he has the power to do this and that. Not the power of him actually doing it, but just the power of saying, yo, these people over here being unfair with me and, and, and his folks taking care of that. And I respect it. I get it, right? But at the same time, I was trying to tell him, like, man, that's kind of flawed. That's really kind of flawed. If a motherfucker, if we battling at basketball and you beat me at basketball, then it's foul for me to go to my corporate. It's foul for me to go to my corporate job and get them to buy your basketball court just so I can say I'm king of the basketball court. That ain't right. Not to say somebody can't do it, but you don't get the same respect. And with that being said, man, shout out to Al Noob. Shout out to Dog Face. Shout out to the city. I wish some of this shit wasn't going on. Now, before I bumped into Al Nuke, I got to be honest here, because people, I've never put out my conversations with anybody, but people have put out my conversations with them. So I'm going to be honest. Before I met Al Nuke or before he, he was in my inbox or whatever, I was privy to a couple of recordings and text messages of shit like this exposing people 
dry snitching, et cetera, et cetera. Anyways, y'all, we out.